Jets fans, TTC, it's your boy PTP here to give you my breakdown of the Jets 35-9 destruction of the Indianapolis Colts. Now, first off, anyone who watched my last video knows that this played out exactly as I said. I'm not, I'm not here to blow my own horn, but we did all the things that we needed to in this week. Um, we were able to run the ball. First time uh, in a long time we ran the ball consistently and dominantly. Um, I know it's just the Colts. Uh, we can't really... Um, blow our own horn on this one, but you know it's it's just good to get that momentum coming into a big game against the Pats next week. A um, couple other things is the defense was looking really nice. Um, we finally seemed to get some pressure once again. Don't toot our own horns. Colts are playing um, a lot of empty backfields. They're really daring us to get to luck, and we were able to do that, and we caused them um, some turnovers. So you got to kind of doubt their game plan on that. I think they kind of underestimated us. Um, because what's really deceptive about this defense is everyone says all all of our uh, pressure comes from scheme, but it's a very scheme-oriented defense. So we have to expect sometimes our linemen aren't really there to get to the linebacker, get to the quarterback. They're more there to block, to plug, to plug holes, and, and to really fill gaps and let other guys fill in. With the, it's it's a scheme-rated defense. So I think that's something that's kind of slept on. I mean, now let's not hate. We don't have the pass rusher out of the outside linebacker position that we want. We like. I mean, uh, that's definitely true, but you can't have everything. And, um, I mean, the secondary played really well this week. Um, Crow, once again, he's holding it down in the absence of Revis. Kyle Wilson, um, the best thing to say about Kyle Wilson is you're starting not to notice that he's out there. And with, I mean, not that he's disappearing, but that, I mean, Revis is gone and Kyle Wilson is in. That's the biggest thing. I mean, he's looking solid out there. And um, while he does get burned sometimes deep, for the most part, um, he's holding his own. Um, so there's a lot of good signs to be seen. Dustin Keller looked like just a decoy this week. Um, we really want to get him back to a place where he can really be a part of this offense. I don't know when he's going to be completely healthy. Um, that's a big thing we need for the Jets. Now, um, first off, the division is a dead heat now. We're all 3-3. Three and three. Um... I don't even know what to say. Uh, I kind of feel like, not lucky, but I mean, we feel fortunate to be in this position. We haven't played our best football Jets fans. We've had the hardest part of our schedule, and we're still tied to first in the division. This is really a big opportunity. The Pats have flat out struggled. I mean, as much as we struggled, the Pats have struggled, but they don't seem to get the same hate for it. I mean... We can, I, I, th you can all fill in your own reasons why, but they don't seem to get the same hate for it. And leading into that, I, um, I'm new to the TTC, I, I'm relatively new here, so I don't even know much Patriots fans, so um, if anyone out there knows some Patriots fans, hit me up, or if you're Patriots fans watching, hit me up, because I'm ready for the hate week this week, you guys can come at me. Um, I'm ready, oh, I gotta get some shit together, because this is for first place, Pat, this is for first place. And I know you think you're going to beat us, because you guys are cocky. As much as we're cocky, you guys are like the quiet arrogant. The Bill Belichick, where we watch your practice arrogant. Um, so, we're ready for you. I, I, I'm going to save that for the next video, but the division is a dead heat. Um, props to a lot of teams. Um, Miami making a comeback. Uh, two straight wins. Buffalo, I mean, pulling that one out of your ass last week. So, I mean, there's a lot of things to look at. But the big thing here is we're, we're 2-0 in the division. If we can go 3-0 next week, we really position ourselves well to finish strong on what's an easier set of our schedule down the stretch. I mean, when you look at these games, I mean, no game is a pushover, but, I mean, we got another game against the Pats, the Cardinals coming in, but there's some definitely some winnable games on the schedule uh, coming up. So, Jets fans, this is a time that we need to take opportunity. Uh, we need to kind of be happy, fortunate for where we are, and, one last thing I want to touch on, Sanchez. Now, uh, I almost forgot about him here. Because uh, we had such a dominant performance on the run, it's easy to forget about Mark Sanchez. And I think Sanchez played, he played good. He played a very solid game. I, I mean, there's not a lot to hate. People are hating on the numbers, but when you have to look at it, he played within the game plan, he played within the opportunities given, and at a certain point we had a lead, why force things? Um, this is a, we have a good defense. Why take those unnecessary risks? And um, there's, there's some, another big point we want to look at is the Jets don't have a lot of these screen passes, these dump offs, these easy completions. 
Um, when we look at some of these numbers, these guys' completion play percentages are inflated. When they throw six, seven screens a game, those are easy completions, um, easy yards. And when you compare it to a guy who's taking shots, and a guy who, you have to look at what he's throwing. When Sanchez throws the ball, it's a lot of down and distances, um, third and longs, third and fours. It, it, it's a lot of tougher situations, passing downs, where teams are playing him. You have to look at the situations and how a guy is utilized. So, um, it, it, it's, it's very, uh, things can be deceptive. I mean, I think he had a very good game. He led the team, and we can't ask for too much more. Tim Tebow. Boom, X Factor on that fake punt. That shit was ridiculous. We should have saved it for the Pats, but <laughs> I was lo I was loving it. Anyway, um, Jets fans, tell me how you guys are feeling. Um, AFC East, where you at? Um, Jets are sitting on top right now. So, where you at, AFC East? And we'll see you guys next week. I can't wait for this hate week. Pats fans, I'm ready for you. You better hit me up. Anyway, uh, everyone, you guys have a great week, and I'll see you guys later on.